Swallowed Star 2, Origin Continent. Chapter 184 to Chapter 186. Have fun reading as well as listening. Chapter 184, God King Tian Kun is truly formidable, 35th of Volume 4. The massive body of God King Tian Kun had a wound appear, and the scales around it turned grayish-white, as if they had lost all vitality. Then, the scales and flesh turned to ash and disappeared. However, given the size of God King Tian Kun's colossal form, such a loss of flesh and scales was restored in the blink of an eye. How is this possible? God King Tian Kun was incredulous. His body is like a world, teeming with even more vitality than mine. I'm at the second stage of the God King realm, and I had to cultivate the Hunyuan bloodline just to control such a body. Moreover, I still suffer from the will contamination of the bloodline. But he can control such a massive body and still perform such intricate techniques without external help? How is he doing it? For a colossal body like this, if its techniques were clumsy, the threat would be minimal. God King Tian Kun could easily toy with it. His attacks would be too fast for Luo Feng to block, and Luo Feng's slow and awkward moves would be effortlessly countered. God King Tian Kun would hold complete control. But now, Luo Feng could easily meld into the world, teleporting in an instant to any spot around him. His attacks were so fast that even God King Tian Kun couldn't stop them in time. This isn't a technique from the Life Origin Dao, nor the Material Origin Dao, God King Tian Kun thought as he looked at Luo Feng. He's also cultivating a third path. That blade light from earlier moved through the darkness, as if it didn't exist in reality. By the time the attack was launched, he had already been struck. The speed of that move was impossible to block. Is it the path of causality? Or the path of destruction? Or something else? God King Tian Kun had many questions but couldn't be certain. However, one thing was clear, Luo he was far more troublesome than expected. How is this possible? Without external aid, he can control such a massive body and still unleash such intricate techniques? On the origin continent, many ancient powerhouses were equally astonished. This defied logic. However, it was theoretically possible. Could his mental will have surpassed the ultimate level of God Kings, allowing him to control such a body with ease? Or did he also cultivate the path of the soul, making his soul incomparably strong? Is he the reincarnation of some ancient being, someone far beyond the first stage of the God King realm, using such moves with ease? All sorts of speculations arose. These were all possible. The origin continent had existed for countless ages, hiding countless dragons and tigers. Several newly ascended God Kings, after accumulating enough strength or exposing their signature techniques, had been revealed to be reincarnations of ancient beings. This had already happened several times. I've watched Luo Feng grow, and his small universe is something never recorded in the history of the Origin Continent. There's no ancient being at that level, sitting mountain guest, who had been tensely observing the battle, was now excited. Luo Feng reached this stage purely through his own strength. He's only been on the Origin Continent for just over a hundred eras. Sitting mountain guest knew just how extraordinary his disciple was. In just over a hundred eras, he was already capable of fighting the continent's overlords. Give him a few more thousand eras, and wouldn't he be battling against emperors and monarchs? Brilliant, 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 God King Polu marveled as he watched. I, too, am invincible in the first stage of the God King realm, but I wouldn't dare face God King Tian Kuan head-on like this. A God King at the first stage, can truly be this powerful? God King Polu, who was well aware of supreme inheritances and perfect legacies, understood that in theory, a first stage God King could become incredibly terrifying, even more so than Luo Feng now. However, on this origin continent, Luo Feng's current performance was already dazzling. Once this battle is over, I must visit Brother Luo He, God King Polu, who had befriended Luo Feng back when he was still in the Chaos Realm, now saw the importance of strengthening their bond. I'll bring Yun Gu along when I visit. The massive God King Tian Kun looked at Luo Feng and spoke, Luo He, whose reincarnation are you? I'm not anyone's reincarnation, Luo Feng looked at God King Tian Kun. Even if you were, you wouldn't admit it, would you? You reincarnated ones always carefully hide your identities, afraid of drawing the attention of old enemies, God King Tian Kun sneered. Let's see how much more you can hide in front of me. Many reincarnated god kings were only revealed at critical moments, when they unleashed signature moves from their past lives, exposing their identities. Die. The massive god king Tian Kun flapped his enormous wings. With a single flap, it was as if the heavens were collapsing. Boom. Everything within a vast area was annihilated, not just the rocks, soil, flowers, and trees, but even the energy of heaven and earth was obliterated. Even the chaotic air currents were shattered, reduced to streams of the tiniest particles. This devastating blow engulfed Luo Feng, covering such a large area that he couldn't evade and could only resist with all his strength. Boom! The overwhelming power struck Luo Feng's body. Even though he blocked it with his arms, trying to dissipate the force, he could still feel the heavy impact spreading throughout his entire body. Despite his world life-form physique, the shock caused cracks to appear in the worlds within his body. 
God King Tian Kuan's killing move, Wings of Heaven, Luo Feng recognized one of God King Tian Kuan's deadly techniques. If the Great Extinction Golden Light was a type of energy-based attack, the Wings of Heaven was purely strength-based. Luo Feng, whose towering body was as tall as the heavens, was pushed back by the force, retreating more than ten steps. Each step created massive craters on the ground, tens of billions of kilometers wide, before he finally managed to stabilize himself. In terms of strength, that move is tens of times more powerful than mine. Luckily, my world life form has incredible vitality. Even though Luo Feng felt weakened from the blow, with countless life structures in his body shattered, they quickly regenerated. My body's vitality is superior, but in terms of explosive power, I'm far behind God King Tian Kun, Luo Feng realized the gap between them. Boom! Suddenly, Luo Feng's expression changed. Swoosh! A flash of arc light, and Luo Feng was unexpectedly severed at the waist, cut cleanly in two. The killing move, Heaven Severing Tail, Luo Feng had long been aware of this deadly technique and had been on guard, but he still couldn't avoid it. This move was known for being utterly unstoppable. In an instant, God King Tian Kun's massive, scaled tail released an explosive burst of power. All the immense strength of his colossal body was concentrated at the tip of the tail, which then slashed through the air in an arc. Though it seemed simple, this move contained the mysteries of the material Tao, even distorting time. The moment it was unleashed, it had already cut through Luo Feng's body. The tail was incredibly sharp, and it sliced through Luo Feng's body with ease. Whoosh! The massive head of God King Tian Kun, which made up a third of his body, suddenly opened its mouth wide. At that moment, Luo Feng felt the sky darken, and the surroundings turned into a blood-colored, wrinkled space. I've been trapped in the world's stomach, Luo Feng realized, as his body, which had been split in two, was now separated into different stomach chambers. God King Tian Kun had unleashed another killing move, World Stomach. By tapping into the potential of his Hunyuan bloodline using the mysteries of the material origin Dao, he had created several bloodline-based techniques. The world's stomach could swallow an entire vast world into his stomach. His Hunyuan bloodline body had multiple stomach chambers, each capable of corroding, destroying, and digesting anything inside. Transform. The two halves of Luo Feng's body, now trapped in different stomachs, instantly transformed into two smaller versions of himself. However, the power of each part had diminished significantly. One on one, while I can withstand some of his moves using my world life form body, if it comes to a real fight, he can swallow me in an instant, Luo Feng recognized the gap in their strength. The surrounding blood-colored wrinkles unleashed an endless flow of corrosive power, gnawing at Luo Feng. Both of the smaller Luo Fongs, dressed in silver robes, were riddled with holes as their clothes were corroded. Even their bodies began to show numerous wounds, and Luo Feng's face started to look torn and tattered. However, many of these wounds healed rapidly, with destruction and restoration continuing in an endless cycle. Luo He, don't think you can escape from this body, God King Tian Kuan's voice echoed within the stomach chamber. God King Tian Kuan, the corrosive power of your world's stomach is rather mediocre. Its speed is no match for my natural healing rate, Luo Feng taunted. Are you planning on keeping me in your stomach forever? Indeed, while the corrosive force was continuous, its destructive capability was far less than the other killing moves. Meanwhile, Luo Feng's energy, which was akin to the source of life itself, continuously restored him even while being corroded. My world's stomach is quite spacious. Keeping you imprisoned here is no problem, God King Tian Kuan responded. Forget it. I'll give you the energy of this avatar, the two smaller Luo Fongs smiled faintly. Boom. Boom. Suddenly, countless secret runes appeared on the surface of both smaller Luo Fongs. Their skin turned a dark red, this was the self-destruct technique Luo Feng had comprehended, a fusion of life and destruction called Scarlet Heaven Explosion. In the next moment, everything exploded, unleashing all the energy at once. This energy came from the true body of Luo Feng's world life form, even if it was only a fraction, and after the Scarlet Heaven explosion, the sheer force ravaged God King Tian Kuan's stomach, tearing open numerous holes. Ugh. Outside. The massive God King Tian Kuan, who had swallowed Luo Feng's two halves, suddenly experienced a violent energy reaction in his abdomen. The scales on his belly were split open with cracks. This was the first serious injury Luo Feng had inflicted on him in the entire battle. I can't swallow him again in the future, God King Tian Kuan thought, clearly discomfort by the attack. Building such a powerful body isn't easy, and yet he gave it up just like that? God King Tian Kuan was somewhat surprised. He had assumed Luo Feng's body carried some secret treasures. Even if there were no treasures, amassing such energy to forge such a powerful body wasn't something easy to accomplish. God King Tian Kuan. A voice resonated throughout the heavens. God King Tian Kuan narrowed his blood-colored eyes, gazing into the distance at the direction of Huyang City, where ten figures were now flying out. A silver-robed Luo Feng, each figure radiating an aura no weaker than before. God King Tian Kuan, you're truly formidable. A single avatar of mine cannot compete, so I'll have to send all ten of my avatars against you. This is my last resort, said the ten Luo Fongs as they stared at God King Tian Kuan. The scene in front of him sent a chill through God King Tian Kuan's heart. It also stunned all the other entities watching the battle. 
Even sitting mountain guest and god King Yushui, both allies of Luo Feng, were left speechless as they looked at the ten figures hovering over Huyang City. End of chapter. Chapter 185, The Price, 36th of Volume 4. Luo he can actually control ten powerful avatars? God King Yushui was not surprised to see additional avatars, as the outside world had already known about Luo Feng's mastery of avatar techniques when he reached the Chaos Realm. However, in the recent battle, everyone could clearly see how formidable that one avatar was. Luo Feng, who was only at the first level of the God King Realm, could fight across ranks, thanks to his incredibly powerful body. To control such a powerful body is already difficult. Typically, one would only be able to execute some clumsy moves, but Luo Feng was controlling ten avatars? Could Luo He's strength have truly reached a level comparable to mine? God King Yushui found it hard to believe. Luo Feng is only at the first level of the God King Realm. Sitting Mountain Guest was stunned as he watched the scene. Could he already rival a well-established second-level God King? Controlling ten avatars simultaneously is far more challenging than controlling just one. The various factions on Origin Continent were all watching closely. Strength is demonstrated through battle, not through empty threats. Humph. In the sky, the colossal God King Tian Kuan coldly gazed at Luo Feng from afar. I'd like to see how much real power you can exert while controlling ten avatars at once. Come on. The ten silver-clad Luo Feng avatars, each towering as high as the heavens, stood before Huyang City. Is that the Lord of Luo City? The guards at Huyang City's gates, along with countless citizens within the city, looked up at the ten identical, towering silver figures in utter awe. Such terrifying beings could likely wipe out billions of lives with just a single breath. My master's strength has already surpassed mine. Morosa's avatar stood on a pavilion in the city lord's mansion, gazing into the distance. I was born from the essence of destruction itself, a perfect life form. How am I being suppressed at the same level by my master? Morosa's techniques all stemmed from the destruction origin Dao, and his abilities were limited to the path of destruction. Luo Feng, on the other hand, had cultivated the paths of life, destruction, and their fusion, the life and destruction Dao. Additionally, with the transformation technique, Luo Feng had mastered aspects of the material origin Dao as well. He had also exchanged for numerous top-tier inheritances in the infinite space treasure grounds, absorbing the wisdom of his predecessors. This is the advantage of a cultivator, while the starting point may be low, the ceiling is incredibly high. I hope the master brings back better food so I can quickly reach the second level of the God King Realm, Morosa thought. His advantage lay in his ability to directly pursue the ultimate God King Realm, though his weakness was in independent cultivation. After all, he'd spent his whole life relying on external growth. Expecting him to cultivate independently was, in a way, asking too much. This was also why the two ancient nations valued the Lord of Myriad Worlds so highly while looking down on the Tianwu Kingdom's realm beasts. The Lord of Myriad Worlds had comprehended a complete origin Dao by himself, giving him the potential to advance beyond the ultimate God-King realm. As for the realm beasts, their chances of surpassing the ultimate God-King realm were negligible. Everyone continued to watch the battle. The ten silver-clad Luo Feng avatars glared at God-King Tian Kun, their fighting spirit burning fiercely. Luo Feng wasn't lying, this was indeed his strongest power. Without the use of any weapons, his strongest power manifested in two forms. The first form was to control the full body of his world life form, which granted him vast energy reserves and terrifying regenerative abilities. Each of his moves was incomparably powerful, but the techniques were somewhat clumsy and easily countered. The second form was to simultaneously control ten avatars. Each avatar could exert 70% of his full strength and execute relatively standard God King level techniques. Through the use of formation techniques, the moves became more refined and balanced, better suited to handling various challenges. Of course, when controlling the world life form's body, his energy reserves were immense, making it more suitable for weapon use. If he wielded the blood shadow blade, his power would increase, and if he used the star tower, his strength would multiply even further. The star tower, Luo Feng's true body had been continuously training within it and studying its abilities. He felt that its suppression, sealing, heaviness, and indestructibility had no limits. The stronger Luo Feng became, the more power the star tower could unleash. Luo Feng still hadn't fully understood why the star tower was so powerful. It was already beyond the scope of a mere God King weapon. Luo Feng, at his current first level God King stage, didn't dare to use the Star Tower at all. Boom! The ten silver clad Luo Feng avatars moved simultaneously, merging with the world in an instant, appearing around the God King Tian Kun as if they had teleported. He can execute such swift movement techniques while controlling ten massive avatars? God King Tian Kun's heart sank, and his blood red eyes grew even more frenzied as he opened the giant bloody maw that occupied a third of his body once again. Roar! This roar was like the wrath of heaven and earth, an apocalyptic cry that reverberated through the land. The mountains turned to dust, and the ground shattered, forming enormous chasms. The roar's shockwave even reached the ten silver-clad Luo Feng avatars in the distance, causing their robes to tear, but Luo Feng remained expressionless. He even turned his head to look into the distance. 
Though sparsely populated, the god king Tian Kuan's roar was so vast in range that it threatened a distant tribe of over a thousand souls. The terrified tribe saw the black shockwave from the roar, resembling a tidal wave of destruction sweeping toward them. Father! cried a terrified child, while the true gods among them could only watch in despair. Luo Feng, observing the scene, immediately enveloped the entire tribe with the power of his world, relocating them, along with their buildings, to a remote area near Huyang City. You're still distracted while fighting me? God King Tian Kun was both shocked and enraged. The shockwave from his roar, which had spread outwards, now converged back toward the battlefield. With a flap of his wings, God King Tian Kun charged at one of Luo Feng's avatars. The ten Luo Feng avatars quickly encircled him. Boom! In the first clash, one of Luo Feng's avatars staggered back several steps, but the other nine avatars immediately rushed forward to attack. Slash! With a flick of God King Tian Kun's tail, light flashed, and in an instant, one of Luo Feng's avatars was sliced in half. Despite being prepared, one of the avatars was split in two. However, the bisected avatar, despite the severe damage, grabbed hold of the tail. In the blink of an eye, the two halves of the avatar reconnected, healing completely. Die. One avatar held onto the tail tightly while the others surged forward to attack. Roar. 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 God King Tian Kun roared again, waves of sound reverberating. The sound waves from his earlier roar had returned, and the overlapping waves now formed an expansive domain of sound. Each of Luo Feng's avatars moved with ghostly speed, seemingly walking through shadows, fearlessly enduring the sonic blasts. Die. God King Tian Kun's wings suddenly trembled, and sharp golden swords shot out from deep within his wings, hundreds of them, each incredibly sharp, piercing through many of Luo Feng's avatars and leaving gaping holes. But for Luo Feng's towering avatars, those holes were insignificant. They healed almost instantly. The cycle of life and death. One of Luo Feng's avatars clung tightly to God King Tian Kuan's tail, refusing to let go no matter how much he was attacked, effectively neutralizing the God King's most destructive move, the Heaven Severing Tail. Meanwhile, the other nine avatars unleashed the cycle of life and death formation, relentlessly assaulting God King Tian Kuan. Despite dragging Luo Feng's avatar along with his massive tail, God King Tian Kuan remained incredibly powerful. His roars echoed, his soundwave domain and a hundred swords repeatedly injured Luo Feng. His wings, spanning 300 billion kilometers, flapped violently, causing destruction on an unimaginable scale. Occasionally, a great extinction golden light also shot from the top of his head. Yet, even though Luo Feng's ten avatars were covered in wounds, they continued to fiercely attack. Their bodies were incredibly resilient, and when combining their strength, they tore chunks of flesh and scales from God King Tian Kun, despite his own regenerative abilities. Each of his ten avatars is this difficult to deal with? God King Tian Kun felt frustrated. He realized that every one of Luo Feng's avatars had the power of a true overlord, even more troublesome than most. The scene was met with silence by those watching. Both God King Tian Kun and the ten Luo Feng avatars were heavily wounded, locked in brutal combat. But both sides knew, it was their physical strength that allowed them to battle like this. God King Tian Kun's physical body is legendary, yet Luo he dares to fight him without fear? A God King at the first stage can be this strong? The battle zone was engulfed by the soundwave domain, with the force of the world spreading and the shockwaves wreaking havoc across the land. Suddenly, amidst the chaos, God King Tian Kun retreated. With a flap of his massive wings, he vanished in an instant, dragging the Luo Feng avatar holding onto his tail far away from the other nine. Stop, God King Tian Kun said in a low voice. One of Luo Feng's avatars finally released his grip on the giant, scaly tail. Though the tail was fearsome, once held, its threat greatly diminished. Luo Feng's other avatars instantly teleported to the area, surrounding God King Tian Kun once again. The wounds on all ten Luo Feng avatars had completely healed, and their robes were as good as new. God King Tian Kun, though covered in wounds, was also healing, with his scales regenerating. Both sides now showed no signs of injury. You think we'll stop just because you say so? Luo Feng's ten avatars stared at him. God King Tian Kun glanced at the ten Luo Feng surrounding him and said, I admit, you have the strength to intervene. Let's end the war between our two nations. You want war when it suits you, and peace when it's convenient? Luo Feng looked at him coldly. You wanted to flatten my Huyang city earlier, and now you want to act like nothing happened? God King Tian Kun surveyed the surroundings. What do you want? God King Tian Kun, you said it yourself, some actions require a price. Luo Feng's ten avatars stood still, as his world force spread rapidly from the center of Huyang City, expanding into the Food Kingdom's territory, covering the ten chaos states. Luo Feng's true body's world force could cover sixteen chaos states, and now, the Food Kingdom's twelve chaos states were partially covered, with some areas fully enveloped and others only a third covered. Luo Feng selected the ten closest territories and declared, God King Yushue gave me ten territories. Food Kingdom, I will take ten territories as well. The ten Luo Feng avatars stared at God King Tian Kun. That will be the price for Food Kingdom. If you agree, we will stop the war. If you refuse, 
we will continue, and I'll take the territories by force, using my own abilities. End of chapter. Chapter 186, The End, 37th of Volume 4. 10 Chaos States. God King Tian Kun stared at Luo Feng. Are you sure? Do you think I'm asking for too much? The 10 Luo Fongs also fixed their gaze on God King Tian Kun. God King Tian Kun could feel the determination of God King Luo He. How did he get involved in my conflict with the Yu Kingdom's ruler? And why is he so difficult to deal with? God King Tian Kun was somewhat troubled. When it came to a direct fight, he wasn't afraid of Luo Feng. In fact, his strength in an all-out battle might even surpass Luo Feng's. He could fight when he wanted to and retreat when necessary, and Luo Feng wouldn't be able to stop him. But if Luo Feng's ten avatars decided to target the Food Kingdom, he wouldn't be able to stop them either, after all, he only had one true form. He had built a vast second-rate kingdom, Food Kingdom, with his people and many followers. Meanwhile, Luo he had no attachments, and the ten chaos states he had just acquired were gifted by God King Yushue. The barefooted one has nothing to fear from the one wearing shoes. God King Tian Kun was the one wearing shoes, his territory was large. Luo Feng, on the other hand, had little territory and no significant attachments, not even disciples beyond one. A true fight? Could Food Kingdom endure it? Fine. God King Tian Kun's blood red eyes glared at Luo Feng. I underestimated God King Luo He. I didn't expect that at just the first stage of the God King realm, you'd have such terrifying strength. These ten chaos states will serve as compensation. You're quite straightforward, God King Tian Kun, Luo Feng nodded. From now on, we'll be neighbors, so we'll have plenty of interactions. Humph. God King Tian Kun was frustrated. Having Yu Kingdom, a second-rate nation, nearby had already given him headaches. After all, he could freely annex third-rate nations, but dealing with peers of the same level was much more difficult. The force under Luo Feng's command, in God King Tian Kun's eyes, was even more troublesome than Yu Kingdom. Whoosh. God King Tian Kun's wings fluttered, and in an instant, he vanished into the sky. The ten towering silver-clad Luo Fongs disappeared in the blink of an eye as well. It's over. Who would have thought that this God King Luo he would be a rival to God King Tian Kun? A new untouchable overlord has emerged in Origin Continent. The various powers watching this realized that Luo Feng was someone not to be trifled with. Even God King Tian Kun's deadly moves were futile against Luo Feng's avatars, barely causing any substantial damage. Only when swallowed by the ruler's stomach did Luo Feng have to self-destruct a body, otherwise, just by stomach erosion alone, there was no way to kill even one of his avatars. My disciple has actually reached a level comparable to God King Tian Kun. Sitting mountain guest's eyes glistened with emotion. It's time to pay Luo Feng a visit. In the city lord's mansion of Huyang City, on a high pavilion. Brother Luo He, I can't thank you enough, God King Yushue, in avatar form, appeared, visibly excited. Luo Feng's strength had exceeded his expectations, and the issue had been resolved so smoothly. If Luo Feng had been an ordinary invincible God King of the first stage, there would have been many more conflicts. It was nothing, Luo Feng smiled. I've heard that your true form is in the Tianha treasure land. You should be cautious. They may have numbers on their side, but I'm not that easy to bully, God King Yushue said confidently. You should also be careful. By offending God King Tian Kun like this, he won't let it go easily. If you run into trouble, just call on me, and I'll be there to help. Luo Feng smiled, you might not know this, but I just demanded 10 chaos states from Food Kingdom as compensation. When he had negotiated with God King Tian Kun, they had made sure to block any external perception. Ah, God King Yushue was stunned. You demanded 10 chaos states? If I'm going to offend him, I might as well do it thoroughly, Luo Feng grinned, then gazed toward the distant Food Kingdom. From now on, Food Kingdom and I will be neighbors, and this struggle is far from over. If you need the Yu Kingdom's help, just call on me, God King Yushue said. This time, during Food Kingdom's invasion, Luo Feng had unhesitatingly sided with the Yu Kingdom, which greatly moved the God King Yushue. Without a doubt, in future confrontations with Food Kingdom, the Yu Kingdom would firmly stand alongside Luo Feng's forces. In the capital of Food Kingdom, within the Royal Palace. Big Brother. Nation Lord. The other four God Kings of Food Kingdom looked at God King Tian Kun. Luo He's world power has enveloped ten of our chaos states, claiming that those ten provinces now belong to him. He has ordered the Chaos Realm cultivators to evacuate within a day, Wuxiang ancestor said anxiously. Big brother, are we really going to give up 10 Chaos States just like that? If we don't, do you think Luo He will stop the war? God King Tian Kun, seated at the head, glanced coldly at Wuxiang ancestor. His 10 avatars have entered Food Kingdom. Which one of them can you four stop? The four God Kings were momentarily speechless. They had witnessed firsthand just how terrifying each of those 10 avatars was. If we keep fighting, there will be no peace in Food Kingdom, God King Tian Kun shook his head. Even though he has ten avatars, big brother, you were still gaining the upper hand during the battle, Blade Demon God King said. If it drags on, he'll lose. I can't outlast him, God King Tian Kun said. 
Wuxiang ancestor, Blade Demon God King, Liu Yu God King, and Kufu God King were all taken aback. His massive body has an extremely strong regenerative ability, almost as if he carries a source of life with him. During the fight earlier, his energy reserves didn't diminish at all, God King Tian Kuan explained. Even if I had the upper hand, I couldn't destroy even one of his avatars. He's more troublesome than God King Yushue, God King Tian Kuan shook his head. Until we find a way to deal with him, we shouldn't provoke him again. Understood, the four God Kings exchanged glances and could only agree reluctantly. If their own ruler admitted that he couldn't destroy even one of Luo He's avatars, there was no way they could fight him. God King Tian Kuan stood up and left. Soon, he arrived at the treasure land known as Tianha, in just a few breaths of time. A river, boundless in both width and length, swept through time and space, encompassing everything, surging continuously. Its sheer might was enough to make God Kings tremble. This was a treasure land considered more valuable than even the infinite space to those outside, especially for practitioners of the water element Hunyuan bloodline, who held it in the highest regard. God King Tian Kuan transformed into his true form and merged with the river's waters. The water naturally cleansed his massive body, tempering and refining it. Just swimming in the river was a form of cultivation. Have none of you found a way to deal with Luo He either? God King Tian Kuan sent a distant causal transmission to his five friends. This time, I suffered a great loss. He forced me to give up ten chaos states. If you couldn't destroy one of his avatars, naturally, neither could we, came their response. Moreover, through causal sensing, I can confirm that he has hidden avatars in Huyang City, in the capital of Chu, and in Xiangjie City. Ten avatars. I fear that may not even be his limit. His explosive strength is somewhat inferior to ours, but he is incredibly difficult to deal with. The few powerful beings all harbored apprehension towards Luo Feng, unwilling to provoke such a formidable enemy. When it came to dealing with God King Yushui, they could reach a consensus and work together. But regarding Luo Feng, there was no such agreement, none of them were willing to engage in a fight with him. Since external pressure can't deal with God King Yushui, we should find a way to settle him once and for all within Tianha. The six of them still had patience. For practitioners of the water element Hunyuan bloodline, the greatest threat was God King Yushui. He adapted to Tianha too well and had a far superior ability to obtain treasures. Naturally, they had to join forces against him. In the ancient country of Yenfeng, Polu City, Polu Mountain. Master, Zhang Yungu, summoned by the God King, excitedly came to pay her respects. It had been so long. Her master had never specifically summoned her before. Yungu, God King Polu smiled as he looked at Zhang Yungu. Luo he has just become a God King, and now he's battling God King Tian Kun without losing ground. I intend to go and congratulate him. You will accompany me. God King Polu was in high spirits. Zhang Yungu's heart trembled. Congratulate God King Luo He. And she was to accompany her master? You've been on this mountain for quite some time now. When we go, you can also meet with Mo Yu Qingyan again, God King Polu said with a smile. Zhang Yungu hesitated for a moment, then decided not to hide the truth. Master, Qingyan and I have already separated. Separated? God King Polu looked puzzled. I have devoted myself entirely to cultivation under your guidance, not wanting any distractions. So, I ended things with Qin Yan, Zhang Yungu respectfully explained. God King Polu's expression turned cold. As an invincible existence at the first layer of the God King realm, God King Polu, who cultivated the Hunyuan bloodline, typically treated all beings kindly. However, he, too, was affected by the residual will of the bloodline, though he could always control it. At this moment, his anger flared, and an invisible murderous intent naturally spread. Zhang Yungu felt her soul trembling, her mind blank. Fool. God King Polu scolded coldly. With a wave of his sleeve, an invisible force swept Zhang Yungu away, directly teleporting her out of Polu Mountain. When Zhang Yungu regained her senses, she found herself standing in Polu City. Looking around, she saw the distant holy land, Polu Mountain. Master expelled me? Zhang Yungu couldn't believe it. You are forbidden from returning to the mountain without my permission. Her master's voice echoed in her mind, as if branded onto her soul. Zhang Yungu shuddered in fear. She had always thought of her master, who was the personal disciple of Emperor Qing, a hegemonic figure in the origin continent, as a being of great mercy. Her master, who shared his teachings with countless weaker beings, seemed to care little about personal matters like hers. Fool. Master called me a fool. That scolding would forever remain in the memory of Zhang Yungu. Her master, who typically spread his wisdom and benevolence to all, had angrily rebuked her, revealing his deep fury. I was wrong. Staring at Polo Mountain from afar, Zhang Yungu felt her heart grow cold. I thought my master, who helps the weak and publicly teaches the masses, was merciful to all beings, far more kind than we eternal true gods. But I was wrong. My master is no different from the eternal true gods. He also befriends the strong and has entangled interests. End of chapter and end of volume 4. Looking for more novels? Feel free to explore my playlist.